Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the end of the NLL season. We have arrived at that destination, and we are now full stop in the PLL. Let's talk about the NLL Finals first, baby. Let's talk about the NLL Finals, man. What a three-game series it was. My first year following the NLL in full, and what a series. It delivered in the best way. First game, Buffalo beat Colorado with a transition goal from Nick Weiss in the final minute. And, you know, just a thriller. You know, Josh Byrne had a, had a great first half in the second game. But Zed Williams and the Mammoth defense, you know, they forced the game three, you know, by limiting the Bandits' opportunities in the second half. And the same thing happened in game three. Same thing happened. Dylan Ward... Rightfully so, named the finals MVP. This man was saving everything tonight. He saved just about everything and anything that Buffalo could throw at him tonight. You know, you know, Williams scored. You know, had four goals tonight. Uh, others chipped in as well. But really, this is about Dylan Ward and the buff and the, uh, and the and the man of defense creating bad shots for Buffalo throughout the entirety of Game Three. Because I mean, Buffalo only scored what two or three points in the second half, which ain't gonna get it done. It's not gonna get it done. And unfortunately for Buffalo, you know, who's had the best record in the league the past two full seasons, can't get it done. And you know. The Mammoth, they win their second championship, for, you know, first one won in 06. They beat the Bandits in front of a sellout crowd on ESPNU, nationally televised game. It's the stuff you dream of right there. It's the stuff you dream of. Sport of the future, grow the damn game. That is how you do it right there. And, you know, sad that a sellout crowd in Buffalo had the have another championship yanked away from them like that but that's just how I, that's just how it happened that is just how it happened I am thrilled I am happy I am all I have all sorts of emotions because again not a lot of people picked the Colorado man to win the NL championship this year and you know I picked the Buffalo Bandits of course you know because I thought they were the most dominant team this season with the way things were going, you know, they had all the playmakers there, you know, that are going to be on, you know, one of the PLL teams we'll be talking about in a minute here because we really have to talk about the PLL right now. Um, but I thought Buffalo had it. And unfortunately, they could not make, you know, they could not make the things happen when they needed to happen. And again, I mean, kudos to Colorado. Uh, they might pick up an NHL championships too, you know, in, in the next you know week or so. So you know, Stan Kroenke's going to be busy. He's got he's got a lacrosse championship for you know to add to his collection of championships. If he, I don't, I'm not sure how many he actually has. Don't don't quote me on that. But you know, congratulations to Colorado. Congratulations to the NLL. You did it. You did your first successful season on ESPN. Yeah, all, all, yeah, two. You know, we only got two of the three finals games on, you know, an ESPN platform. You know, that isn't ESPN Plus. But I mean, if you didn't watch Game Two and Game Three, if you didn't watch Game, if you didn't watch this entire series, you missed out on the NFL finals. You missed out, man. You missed out on some damn good lacrosse right here. This is what the sport is made for right here. Thrillers. All three games right there. Whew. Man. Man, man, man. So now we got to shift on over to the PLL. The PLL has started their season. Um, we, we're going to go over the Atlas first. You know, Jeff T, Chris Gray. Unreal, these two. They, along with Trevor Baptiste as well, I mean, you know, you got an Atlas team that is growing, that is going wild. Yeah, they did lose to the Whip Snakes last night, but, you know, this Atlas team, they are legit, you know. Again, some people have picked them for the championship. I did not. Uh, I will talk about my pick 
for the championship next as the Redwoods, they disappointed me the first two weeks of the season. They, they really did. They got blown out by Chrome. They got blown out by Atlas. You know, Atlas really did, did them in. But, I mean, Rob Pinnell helped them rebound against Chaos in a nationally televised game on ABC. The first game on ABC in over 45 years, you know. A first lacrosse game on ABC in over 45 years. Uh, speaking of lacrosse, I, I hope we get some more ABC games next year. You know, I just, I just, I just want to see that. I mean, the the Ma Major League Soccer, you know, is moving on to Apple Plus. So you know, you know, for WNBA fans, for lacrosse fans like myself, you know, I hope we get some more, you know, actual ABC games next year. Because I mean, man, that that's a great way to grow the game right there. Is putting it on actual ABC. Don't don't put it on ESPN Plus. You put more games on actual networks that people can get still. It's not everybody can afford ESPN Plus. I know I can't, you know. But man, kudos to the Redwoods. They really turned it around this week. You know, still got a lot of stuff to sort out because of the NLL finals going the way it did, you know, so you know you know, the, the, there's that. The Whip Snakes, they escaped with a couple of wins. You know, they like the game against the Water Dogs had a questionable goal that didn't look like a goal at first, but yet it was a goal. And I'm just you know, like, okay, that I, that's not a goal. I don't think that's a goal, but whatever, man. It's a goal. They escaped an OT there. Roman Pugliese, he's out for the season, unfortunately. You know, it, it is what it is there. Um... But it, it didn't matter. The Whip Snakes, they did beat Atlas last night, so they're three and zero. They're 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 back in it. And keep in mind, Sid Williams, he's coming to the Redwoods. He's coming back to the Redwoods this um, this weekend. So he's coming back. We're rather next weekend. He's coming back, not to the Redwoods, to the Whips next weekend. Um, then you got Lyle Thompson, and you know. And company cooking the water dogs. They cooked the water dogs. They cooked them. Asher Nolting assisting him. You know, there, you know, you got you got Thompson with an upper body injury that didn't know that messed him up a little bit. Um, you know, Austin Stats is also back, you know, as well. But, you know, I I'm sitting here like, well, you know, what what's what do you mean what do you mean? What do, what do, what do, what do you mean? You know, because you, you you had you 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 had art you had archers and cannons. You know, in, in, in that first ABC game in over forty five years. You know, I don't know why I don't know. Did I did I say redwoods and chaos earlier? I meant to say, I meant to say archers and cannons because archers dis, the ar archers dismantled the cannons. Um, Twenty nine. That that was real rough. I mean, of course. You know, like the archers are looking like that team. Uh, look, they look like they got that dog in them. They looking like they got that type of archers team back. You know, you know, because they weren't really, they weren't really that offensive powerhouse last year. I think, but they really have turned it around, and they really, you know, they really, really just dismantled the cannons. Like they whooped them pretty bad. And I mean, the Chrome are integrating the Tawarton Award winner Logan Wisnowskis pretty well. I think. And of course, you know, you know the chaos. They are 0 three. Third straight season that they've at least started, you know, winless. But you know, now that the NL finals are over, I'm expecting this team to turn it around. There's also the PLL Hall of Fame class. Um, you know, guys like Mark Millen, Gary Gate, I believe. I'm, I'm not sure who the entire class was, but the PLL. Hall of Fame class was announced because I mean the PLL's Twitter couldn't they, they really they really couldn't you know just put everybody you know like in one tweet you know like who's in the Hall of Fame class and I'm sitting here like why are there like five separate tweets to you know see who's in the Hall of Fame for the PLL it's okay it's whatever um, you know the ESPN integration the the updated graphics and everything I think it's I think it's pretty good um, ESPN Plus is kind of iffy at times, you know, again, I just want more games on actual networks. I don't want to have to pay for ESPN Plus if you can have, you know, let's 
take back last year. You know, half the games were on, you know, like an NBC and NBC Sports Network. You know, could have been USA had the PLL, you know, re-upped with NBC this year. You know, so, you know, I, I just want, I just want more of that, you know. And I know, I know, I know there's, you know, stuff like some of the announcers, you know, for the PLL that they picked this year, to at least ESPN, you know, the guys they picked aren't really, you know, that good at going across. And I know, I know some people are tired of Kark and, and, and Quint, you know, and, and I know some people want more niche, but a niche has, you know, uh, Carolina Panthers duties and vacationing, stuff like that, so like, you know, it is what it is, you know. Uh, but I don't, I don't really like to talk about announcers like that because, I mean, I used to want to. I used to want to be an announcer, you know. I, I know that sentence didn't really make sense, but I used to. I had an aspiration to be a play-by-play -play announcer, you know, way back when. But now that is not the case. I'm just a writer. <laughs> and a... And the guy that likes to talk about a lot of sports, but, I mean, you, you see, I got I got a lot of notes and I got a lot of things to say about a lot of sports. So, you know, it is what it is. There, PLL first three weeks of the season. Eh, well, I'm gonna look at the standings here real quick, just so y'all can get a good idea, or rather, we all can get a good idea of where things are. You know, you got you got the chrome of the whip stakes three and zero. Oh. Both these teams are three and zero. Oh. They're gonna meet at some point this year. Um, Again, both these teams are damn good. Archers, Atlas, they are two and one right now. The Redwoods, even though they got dismantled their first couple weeks of the season, you know they 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 they're one and two. The Candidates are one and two too. Um, but you know the Water Dogs, you know who are itching to hell and back, they are zero and three. And the Chaos, who don't have any of their guys, are also zero and three. Both those teams, you know, are. You know, are in t last place right now. You know, Water Dogs the Chaos. So it's going to be a dog fight. <laughs> it's going to be a dog fight to see you know who comes out of that. Because remember, the eighth place team does not get to go to the PLL playoffs. They do not get to go. So somebody's going to have to get out the basement this weekend. And you know, by the time we talk up, you know, PLL again, it'll be the All Star break. I'll be coming back. During the All Star break, it'll be the All Star weekend that I'll be coming back with PLL stuff and trying to get some you know formulations on things because we because there'd be a little bit more time you know I think a couple more weeks of PLL action and then we can get you know real good and juicy because that's when the real that's when the real stuff starts setting in you know that's when you really gotta start setting it in that hey hey we gotta we you know teams gotta play. Better teams got to have again. The point differential is a big, big thing. Remember that. So, you know, congrats to the PLL and to the NL for you know getting ESPN you know integrated so so well with both leagues and you know wrote a game. It's the fastest game on two feet. You see somebody on Twitter you know complaining about lacrosse. Tell them to watch a game. I'm telling you tell you man sports gonna grow you know better than MLS <laughs> but until then until you know about an hour you know I got about I got about an hour or so so you know I'll come back to y'all in about 30 minutes to an hour so we can talk you know this week in indoor football you know you know that stuff yeah so come back in like about 45 minutes or so you know by the time you see this uh, it'll, be, it'll be like 30 minutes before I record know and we'll talk some indoor football stuff and some arena football because we got a lot to talk about there man again once once one more time congratulations to the Colorado Mammoth um, y'all earned it and to all you lacrosse fans I will see you back during the PLL all-star break see you soon